All right, y'all. I'm going to try this a third time because it didn't work the first two times. But uh, the National Arena League and Champions Indoor Football, they have merged. They have come together um, to consolidate, to form two conferences, to form a league to where uh, both both leagues can benefit and get, you know, get the recognition that they deserve. Now, already, um, there's some problems with this already, and we'll get to them in a moment. But, um, you know, it's great for the leagues um, who are both basically dying. Um, both teams are basically dying at this point, you know. Um, CIF has had problems with teams folding in the middle of the season. Duke City had left already, um, touched on touched on it uh, a while back when Duke City left to go to the IFL. And the Texas Revolution, who were down in Frisco, Texas, folded. So during the season, they had folded during the season. Meanwhile, the NALs had some troubles of their own. Um, they had they had also had teams folding midseason. Um, that was before, you know, a couple years ago. Um, the last two years have been a little bit more stable, but um, this year, um, not looking too good. Not looking too good. But this may help them a little bit, not too much. But anyway, let me talk about what, what happened to the NAL this year. Uh, obviously, there was some problems with the New York streets, so they got the boot. They got kicked out of this consolidation. Um, they had arena issues to where, you know, they shouldn't have even taken the field. But, you know, it is what it is. You know, a 38-yard field does not work in indoor football. You need 50. You need 12 more. You, you, didn't, you didn't do it right. So New York got kicked out for that. And it was also some managerial um, security issues to where t- people on their own staff were stealing things from other players, especially that canceled game against Carolina. Um, they got canceled and Carolina was blowing them out. But it ultimately counted as a win for New York because, of, you know, um, Carolina was just like, yeah, we're not going to play this anymore. You know, we're, we're out. We're done. Uh, but that was a whole other different scandal um, that happened to the streets. And the other team that is not in this consolidation from the NAL is Massachusetts. Um, the Pirates down in Worcester, Massachusetts, they are – like no, we oppose this merger, so we're not gonna we're not gonna go and play for y'all. Now, where does where did the Pirates end up? Don't know. Probably not the AFL. Probably not. Um, they could wind up in some other semi-pro league, or they could end up they could tragically end up in the American Arena League, which is still somehow surviving. Yeah, Um, so basically, let me get some stuff out here. So basically, um, these two leagues will have a couple of crossover games in during the season and a championship game with the conference champions and whatnot. They they call it a partnership. Um, Really, it's a merger. You might as well just just say it. It's a it's a merger um, at this point, Um, but. Yeah, it, it's really just about health and stability. Um, we don't know who the other team is going to be yet. Um, I should have made a video a while back talking about Maine coming back, the Maine Mammoths. There's a large fan base for them. They're back, they're here, and they're ready. Uh, but we don't know who the 12th team is going to be. So uh, let me break this down for you. Let me break it down to tell you who these teams are um so obviously uh, it's not the pirates it's not the streets um uh, maine it's all the way up there they're, they're gonna be doing something um, you got the carolina cobras you got the columbus georgia lions you got the jacksonville sharks who are obviously came over for the afl and then you got the orlando predators who just came back this past season and then out of the ci F, you got the Omaha Beef, the Selena Liberty, the Sioux City Bandits, the Wichita Force, the Amarillo Benham, and the Oklahoma Flying Aces. So, 
We don't know what this leak is going to look like yet. We don't know what's going to happen, but I can guarantee you it's going to be very interesting to see. Um, so yeah, this is this is it. This is the merger. So now we've got three indoor leagues to really worry about now. Um, will they all combine and form one umbrella? Probably not yet, or at least not at all. We don't know yet. Uh, let's just say that. But yeah, there, there's a lot. There's a lot here um, to unpack. And I could go into much more detail than I wanted, but I want to get to some other videos real quick um, today. So that's it, everybody. That's all I've got. Um, thank you all so much. Stick around. We've got NFL stuff coming up. So with all that being said, peace.